Israel has carried out a new series of raids in the occupied West Bank, arresting 23 members of the group Hamas. Three of those detained were lawmakers in the Palestinian parliament. The arrests come as Israeli forces have dismantled yet another Palestinian encampment challenging the occupation of the West Bank. In what appears to be a growing strategy, Palestinian activists established a new outpost called al Manatir to protect their land from expanding settlement growth. Israeli forces and settlers moved in, firing live ammunition, arresting 10 people. It was the third Palestinian encampment to be established and removed in the occupied West Bank over the past month. The protest encampment follows the conclusions of a U.N. Human Rights Council inquiry reaffirming the settlement's illegality and calling for their complete dismantlement. Panel chair Christine Chanet said Israel's leadership has knowingly violated international law by continuing the settlement's growth. Israel must—that's our first recommendation—must cease settlement's activities and provide adequate, prompt and effective remedies to the victims of violation of human rights. You will see um, in our report, I think it's the first time that you will find an historical background very exhaustive of all the settlements enterprise. So the governments of Israel have openly, sometimes not so openly in an international stage, support the settlements, but they have the full control of the planification of the settlements. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.